any product we want to present a brand new concept of a great quality, not only for our clients and for clients, but also for the neighborhood and the public. Originality, sustainability and modernization are the core contents of our design. In the set plan, four buildings connected to each other one by one make up the building group of the campus. At the same time, we want to create an independently open air space at the central of the building group, which will connect the primary school, secondary school, multiple youth building and the PE hall together. The inspiration of building geometry comes from the body image of Jun in the desert. The building facade, including white wall and dark blue glazing, hence the characters of the ocean and the sky. The organization of atriums and the circulation surfaces in buildings is inspired by Arabic geometry patterns, which are mainly used in traditional fabric and the decorations. There are a variety of design strategies applied for the sustainable site plan. The first one is the alternative transportation. The site provides preferred parking for carpools, serving 5% of occupants. At the same time, bicycle parking areas are also provided. The second one is green landscape. The site restores 15% of site area with native vegetation. Thirdly, to reserve the heat island effect, roof surface area without PV panels, using materials having a SRI larger than 78 for the low sloped roof. Finally, according to the daily centuries, orientation of primary school and the secondary school building, which need get access to natural light, is south to north, while orientation of theaters and the PE hall, which avoid getting natural light, is east to west. Meanwhile, by taking wind direction into account, PV panels combined with solar shading components assembled on the south facade. It will decrease the solar gain in summer to a large extent and effectively absorb solar energy. At the same time, it has less negative effect on natural ventilation. For the building service analysis part, we try to simulate the erroneous level both on the whiteboard and the working plan in an hour plus a day. We found that the erroneous level of the whiteboard is not enough, thus it needs artificial lighting for the whole day. But for the working plan, the desk near the windows do not need any artificial lighting in the most of the schooling time, thus a photoelectric sensor has been applied for this project. Both solar, wind, and ground heat energy can be used in Qatar. However, solar energy has been regarded as the most appropriate strategy to be applied in this project. Assuming that the area of each panel is about 1.64 meters square, and then 8,700 meter square roof mounted PV is required. However, the total roof area is not enough in this design. Thus, some of the PV panels have to be placed on the facade. So the design applied PV panels to the vertical shading system, which makes the shading system more functional. The application of small to medium sized wind energy generators can be both efficient and competitive. 30 small sized wind turbines are applied on site and they can generate about 1% of annual total electricity use. And for the free water reuse system, water from shower, laundry, and bathroom in the school will be collected. Properly treated, this water can be now 
recycled and reused for landscape and flashing toilets. The classroom is one of the most important rooms in the school, so it has been under very careful consideration. The classroom is separated from the staff area and they are located in a parametric way. So it entitles uh, natural ventilation and uh, as much as natural daylight as possible. Moreover, due to the excessively high temperature of the Doha climate, we have applied passive tube beams to cool the every classroom. Every classroom is in a rectangular shape, so it entitles the natural ventilation from the back. It has three vertical big windows and uh, to allow the natural ventilation, we have a long glaze strip on the, on the front top. And each window, we have a shading device with it and also there are PV panels on the shading devices. In terms of the artificial lighting of the classroom, we have used fluorescent lightings. To cover the working plane, we basically use uh, the lighting with 500 lux and uh, electricity working load is 13 watt per square meter. The atrium has daylight access on both sides and the trees planted on the bottom so it can produce oxygen in the daytime and the trees can also mitigate the habitability of the space and also the temperature of the entire school. The recreation area is a very big area with pitch roof so the natural daylight is very sufficient from the both sides of the space and the artificial lighting is just for assistance because it is bright enough and we just need a little bit artificial lighting so the load is very low, it's just 5 watts per square 